only a 10-double-C, and uh, here we have the Galaxy S2 with uh, the Quadrant benchmark. Uh, we just uh, ran it, and uh, now we are waiting for the results. Uh, this phone has uh, a dual-core Samsung uh, processor, which uh, may be powerful than the, uh, uh, than the other processors out there, as it uh, records uh, full HD video in uh, 30 frames and not only 24 frames. So here we have the benchmark. It will run a few graphics, uh, 3D, 3D graphics, 2D graphics, and uh, at the end it will give us uh, the results and uh, it will compare it with uh, other models. So let's wait and see. On the bottom, uh, we don't know if you can see this, it runs 50 frames now. Uh, the planet has uh, about uh, 50 frames as well. So uh, it looks uh, pretty fast here, but uh, let's wait for the results. Sorry for the loud music, but uh, this is how it is at such events. So here is the benchmark result. And yeah, our device is on top of everything. It's uh, above Nexus 1, uh, one uh, 2.2, .2. it's about Moto Critics. Here we the Galaxy S Nexus 1. Uh, it seems that uh, here uh, Quadrant don't uh, display the results of uh, other modern phones, uh, LG Optimus 2X, which also is uh, uh, dual core, etc. But um, uh, we'll make sure to compare it. Uh. So uh, check out phonearena.com for more information on how this uh, phone compares uh, on benchmarks.